G'day folks and welcome to Giving What We Can September Update. Our community continues to grow and we're really moved to see each and every new donor and pledger that joins us. It's so wonderful to be part of a community that cares so deeply about doing good. As you may know, when someone signs a giving pledge, they're asked what motivated them. We wanted to share a couple of our favorites from the past few weeks with you. One member said, I want to dedicate my life to promoting the happiness and well-being of all other beings. Another said, my main motivation in life is to minimize suffering. It's the value I hold the highest. Hearing that and every other motivation that members write really is the most motivating thing for me in this role. It's so touching. So giving season is fast approaching. If you'd like us to host a talk or a workshop in your workplace or community group about effective giving, please let us know by email. We're really excited to share the ideas of effective giving with new people. And we found that talks and workshops are a really great way to introduce people to these ideas. We'd also love you to join us for our meetups in early October to discuss our co-founder Will McCaskill's new book, What We Owe the Future. Okay, onto some of the news covered in this month's newsletter. Giving What We Can member, Dr. Michael Notell, has created a video for us about 10 mistakes that he made trying to improve the world and how you can avoid making the same ones. Effective Spenden recently interviewed Rutger Bregman about effective giving. Rutger is a best-selling author of Humankind and Utopia for Realists, and he took the Giving What We Can pledge in 2020. Kelsey Piper recently argued in Vox that caring about the future doesn't mean ignoring the present. GiveWell's Maximum Impact Fund has been renamed their Top Charities Fund, and they've also launched an All Grants Fund. Easy EMDR shared why they're glad to have taken the company pledge in a blog post. TerraPraxis has announced a collaboration with Microsoft that aims to decarbonize coal facilities with nuclear power, repurposing over 2,400 coal-fired power plants worldwide to run on carbon-free energy. That's just a few short snippets of news from this month's newsletter. For more news and updates, check your inbox or givingwhatwecan.org newsletter. Until next time, keep on doing good.